In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to filter and organize your Yahoo email in just five minutes. If you're feeling overwhelmed by the constant influx of emails and struggling to find what you need quickly, then this tutorial is for you. I'm here to guide you through a straightforward process to get your inbox in order, so let's dive in. First off, you'll want to open your preferred web browser and navigate to the Yahoo Mail sign-in page. Type the URL or perhaps click on a bookmark if you've already saved it. Once there, you'll see a prompt to enter your username. Simply type it in accurately, ensuring there are no typos, then click on the next button. Following this, you'll be directed to input your password. Enter it carefully, remembering that passwords are typically case sensitive. Once your password is entered, click on next again. This action will complete the login process and redirect you to your Yahoo Mail homepage. Now that you're logged in, the next step is to access your email settings. In the top right corner of the page, locate the settings icon, it looks like a gear, click on it and from the drop down menu you'll want to select more settings. Directly at this point you should see a range of options related to your email management. Focus your attention on the left hand pane and click on filters. This section is where the magic happens in terms of organising your emails. You'll see an option to add new filter, click on that to start creating your filter. You'll need to provide a name for your filter, so think of a name that reflects the purpose of the filter, helping you recognise it at a glance. It could be the name of a project, a person or anything relevant. Next comes setting the filter criteria. In this step, define what types of emails you want this filter to catch. You can set criteria based on the sender's email address a keyword in the subject line, or specific words that might be in the email body. Take your time here to ensure the criteria are accurate, otherwise you might miss important emails or have irrelevant ones filtered. After defining your filter criteria, it's time to choose where these filtered emails should go. You can select from existing folders, or if it's a completely new category, create a new folder. Finally, don't forget to save your filter. Once saved, this filter will automatically manage incoming emails according to the rules you've just established. And there you have it, a simple yet effective way to keep your Yahoo inbox neat and organized. Practice these steps, experiment with different filters, and you'll find that managing your email becomes a breeze. Thanks for watching and happy organizing.